Clavis are perhaps the simplest and the oldest percussion instruments of the Afro-Cuban origin. It really serves as a key in music arrangements and has been adopted to various music patterns around the world. The focus of this video is to teach the basic techniques in playing the clave. And if you watch to the end, I'll be showing you how to incorporate the clavis to your favorite song in the 4-4 time signature. Details coming right up. Hey, it's Olufemi here from the CGP Percussion Series, where we spread God's light through music and heart. The clave, you know the clave or cleave, is a simple instrument, and this has made it often be ignored and sometimes regarded as a toy by some. Just two sticks, the olden piece and the striking. That's it. This sticks could be from myogani, redwood, and other types of wood. Although we now have different clave from different sources and materials like plastics, fiberglass, and others. Basically, the accent produced is dependent on the materials used in making them. I have two clavies here, for instance. One is a red wood and African hollow. You can hear the sound. And then I have the solid hardwood clave. You can hear the different sound and accents of this clave. In playing the clave, a very important step is how it is held. Claves belong to a class of percussion instruments known as idiophones. And idiophones are resonant solid materials which vibrate to produce a sound when struck. Therefore, to get the best sound from the clave, the Odin piece needs to have a groove or a resonant chamber to allow the sound to breathe. It's as if you're forming a cup while the clave sits in between the thumb and the first finger. The striking piece is held on the other hand and played following a rhythmic pattern. The three most popular clave patterns are the song, the rumba, and the bossa nova clave. There are different views about how far back these rhythms go, how they've evolved, and their variations. But the baseline is that any of these patterns could be used on any musical arrangement as desired. Let's get the basic clavic techniques first, then we can walk through playing those patterns afterwards. I recommend getting a set of clavies to practice, but you can start right now, actually. Practically speaking, you can actually get a set of cutleries, knives, spoons, pencils, pens, or any object capable of making sound when struck. Then you're good to go. Now the notation on the screen is meant for guidance. The symbols like standing sticks with an X represent each time when you play the clave. And then there's a wiggly symbol, <laughs> that is also known as rest, um, means times that you don't play. In technical terms, we'll be playing the 4-4 time signature with quarter, eight, and 16 notes with quarter notes rest at intervals. Now don't worry if you don't understand what I just said. You will have a feeling when we'll start playing. At first, you would need to count one, two, three, four, okay? I've divided the steps into step 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, and 3B, okay? Now for step 1A, you need to strike the clave with its count, okay? Remember you're counting one, two, three, four. So you'll be playing one, two, three, four. That's the end of step 1A. For step 1B, you will be playing the clave on the first note and you rest on the second count. Play on the next and rest on the last. So meaning that if you count one, you play, two, you rest, three, you strike your clave, then four, you rest. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's play. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it. The next step, we'll see how we can actually combine both 1A and 1B if it's not too complex. So remember, for 1A, you played 1, 2, 3, 4. And for 1B, you skip the second and the fourth, meaning that you only played on 1 and 3, like 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So let's combine step 1a and step 1b to see how they flow together. So you will be starting with 1b and then flow to 1a and then back to 1b. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the end of step 1A and 1B. And if you're still with me, you're doing great. Now let's move to the next step, which is gonna be step two. We're taking it higher gradually. So with step 2A, you're gonna be playing the clavier twice per count. Remember in step one, you only be hitting the clavier one per count, like one, two, three, four. However, in step two, you'll be playing the clavier two times with each beat, meaning that one, two, three, four okay so these are called eight notes for now just focus on the fact that you are playing the clavier twice per beat okay one two three four 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 just like you skip the beat on second and the fourth count on 1B, you're going to repeat the same in 2B, only that you're playing twice, okay? So you're going to be playing 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be the beat for step 2B, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Two, three, four. So when you get comfortable, I would like you to start internalizing the count. So you don't have to like count for everyone to hear your count, right? So you just internalize the count and go one, two, three, four. That's if you're comfortable. At this stage, if you think counting aloud will keep you steady, go for it. Now on step two, let's see if we can combine both step 2A and step 2B. That's great. Now in step three, we'll be looking at playing four notes per count. Like so, one, two, three, four. It's kind of fast, I know. And even in a contemporary music, we count certain notes by saying one E and A, two E and A, three E and A, four E and A, just to make sure you have the right count. Now let's go to step three, A. The tempo is set at 80 beats per minute, which is quite fast, especially if you are new to playing the clavier. So if you think you're finding it difficult to keep up with the tempo during play, I recommend watching the video on the metronome app. The link is displayed above. Download the app and reduce the tempo to around 60 or so, based on your preference. You can then replay the step three and step three A and B. The next step will be step three B. And just like all Bs, like 1B, 2B, and now 3B, we'll be skipping the second and the fourth count. Meaning that after playing the one, you rest on two, play on three, and rest on four. So it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. So let's play. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, So you can repeat this as much as you can. It doesn't have to follow a particular order based on your preference. So let's play step three A and B. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
four. Although the step one to three seems simple, but you would be surprised that you can actually play along to common songs because the four four time signature is very popular among songwriters and composers. For instance, let's listen to one of my favorite songs by Don Wayne, Miko Razon, and let's play along as you feel comfortable. Listening to the intro, you could hear the downbeats, the snare, and other instruments. I usually follow along by first counting one, two, three, four. Then I play the clavier based on my preference. I'm going to play the claviers now as I listen to the song, and you can guess which step I'm in, whether steps 1A through 3B, or maybe a mix of the steps. So the task now is for you to practice all the steps. Pick one of your favorite songs and identify the clavier pattern by first counting, then following the music by playing along. If you've enjoyed this video, please drop a comment in the section below. Hit the subscribe and notification button, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section. This is not the end of the clavier yet. We're still going to explore the son, the rumba, and the bossa nova clavier in the next video. See you, and God bless.